it's not being risk averse. It's being risk logical, right? Risk is the only thing you manage. Returns are not manageable. Returns you can pay for. That's why it's called expected return. So point one is direct equity, uh, buying direct equity brings in standard deviations, which is a measure of risk, which is a very simple measure of risk. Let's not get into the explanation. But it can have three times, four times the standard deviation than a mutual fund. But in the long run, your returns converge with a mutual fund. It is not logical that a person stand alone can beat a 100-member analyst team with a fund manager. And part-time jobs, two people with a dealer who is not going to be paid crores, right, can't beat that systemically. That's point two. Point three, I did a study as an organization, looked at 100 clients who do direct equity and saw that if they didn't do direct equity and bought and sold Nifty on those same specific dates, what would be the return? 93% of them underperformed Nifty, but they didn't know of it.